<laughs> okay, and now we are officially live. Uh, welcome everyone, welcome back. Happy World Art Day. Wow, what a day. Uh, so wow. many events, so many amazing guests, instructors. It's been <laughs> inspiring. We've seen incredible work from Bill Perkins being shared, Glenn. Uh, we've been we've had Ron Husband and Larissa. Hey, we've crap. had the incredible printmaking demo by Marion. Yeah. Uh, so many events today. It's been an absolute blast. I hope you guys have had a blast. Uh, so yes, welcome back. Uh, this is one of our final events. This is our final event before our giveaway announcement. Uh, and I'm excited to be joined today by New Masters Academy founder, Joshua Jacobo, the company's COO, Caleb Jacobo, and the director of education, Thaddeus Taylor. Uh, and this is just gonna be a discussion about the state of New Masters Academy, uh, celebrating getting to this point as well, and some changes uh, that are coming in the future and, and what that will mean for students. And just before we begin, uh, I would like to mention that uh, we are running a World Art Day promotion, so you can get 50% off for this week only on the Library Plus subscription, which also includes three months of group coaching, as well as a printable uh, student planner. Uh, so all of that information is are in the links below the videos. And next up will be our giveaway announcement. And the raffle giveaway has officially closed. So bear with us, and we will announce that soon. So why couldn't we give away a sticker? That was my question. <laughs> why did it have to be an iPad? A new iPad? Oh, man. Yeah, sorry. That was my idea. <laughs> Buy it. <Yeah. laughs> Appreciate it, Peter. And yeah, the. Man, this has been a wild. This has been a wild day. Uh, I was just listening to. I was listening to all of these talks, but it's just. It's really amazing that we're able to get such talent to do this and work with us. And uh, I just want to let everybody know that participated today that we're extremely grateful for your time, and we're extremely grateful that you are coming together to share this wisdom. I know it's a special event, and we're we're doing this for free. But sometimes just a little bit of advice can change somebody's life. And I think I've heard like at least you know a dozen life-changing nuggets of of wisdom today so i really want to uh say that we we appreciate everyone who participated today and thank you for the students i know some of you have been like not sleeping <laughs> i think i'm in that camp actually <laughs> but um this is we almost we almost got through world art day so uh we really appreciate it and it's it's just wild uh watching some of those conversations and just thinking about how this community that's so important to us here and, and so many of you out there um, that it didn't you know it didn't exist it didn't exist uh, 12 years ago and right. it might never it might never have existed and I think that the the fact that new masters Academy has has become what it is today I think that just really speaks to the the, the need that it is fulfilling you know Glenn was talking about being useful and like that's the most important thing and I think that one way that you know if what you're doing is useful or if it's not working is just you know the reaction and, and you know the the level of uh, talent that gets on board and the growth whether it, it grows or not. I remember talking to uh, some colleagues. Uh, Caleb and I had a meeting with uh, with a, with a colleague a couple of years after COVID, and they were they were talking about how the COVID bubble has burst is what they were saying. And oh, they're like, oh, I'm sure your guys' numbers are down. And then Caleb and I were like, well, no, dude, <laughs> actually, like COVID was helpful, but it, it, New Masters continues to continues to grow. And uh, I mean, the World Art event between this year and last year is a good example of that. So as long as it's helpful and as long as people are getting something out of it and as long as it's empowering our community, there's nothing we wouldn't do. You know what I mean? If we grow a thousand times bigger, we'll have a, a thousand times bigger events. Like this is... The purpose of New Masters Academy is not to sell this company, uh, even though that's been an opportunity that's been offered to me uh, two times explicitly, once implicitly. That's not the goal here. We're not trying to build to sell. We're literally trying to build New Masters for the future, for the future of, of artists. And so that's only possible when the community is taking accountability for, for the mission as well. And so when you have the teachers and the team and the uh, the fans who are not necessarily part of the school, and then literally, which which is, is extremely appreciated and often underappreciated group, that people who support New Masters Academy, they share, they talk it up to their friends, even if they're not currently a subscriber, 
you know, that is really critical as well as obviously our students who are, are you know, they're the stars of the show and, and the work that they, putting themselves out there, opening themselves up for critique, submitting their work, allowing themselves to sort of co-brand. All, all of you are part of this mission and it's really because of you that this is all possible. So I just wanna say thank you to everybody that's involved. And I just love that we have, we're so single-minded and wanting to make the world a better place with, with, uh, with, with this, with this uh, organization. So just a blanket, uh, th thank you very much. And so that also kind of ties us into sort of the future because New Masters Academy, as most of you guys know, I'll keep this brief. I know we did this recently, but New Masters Academy was the world's first online only subscription-based learning website. So before New Masters Academy, Schoolism did not have a subscription. There was no Proco as a business. It was a YouTube. Uh, there was uh, sites like Udemy and Skillshare and, and Linda and a lot of those, but none of them had a fine art curriculum. So New Masters Academy was the first time that this sort of art center, Ringling, Otis, uh, you know, this sort of top art school sort of quality was accessible to anybody for less than hundreds of thousands of dollars. Not that that was actually the goal. The goal wasn't just to make high quality content affordable. That's sort of how uh, the book uh, that John Warillo wrote about uh, New Masters Academy in The Automatic Customer, it sort of was presented as like, oh, you take the highest quality education out there and then you make that accessible, democratizing art education, right? That was, sort of how New Masters was, was known, at least on the business side, but it was never about making Art Center or Ringling more affordable. It was always about constructing something that doesn't exist, and by the way, it's affordable, and by the way, it's for everybody. So the goal was never to be a budget version of something else. It was literally to try to surpass all of the, uh, all of the educational resources that existed and make something that's newer and better. It's always been the idea, and so, when we originally were doing New Masters Academy, we launched the website with 100 hours of courses and Bill Perkins and Glenn Vilpu and many of these artists uh, were involved with this collaboration where we were planning out the curriculum. So it wasn't courseware, it wasn't like Skillshare or something where it's like people submit a video, we sell the video, if they get a percentage of the video, we do the next one where there's literally no curriculum whatsoever. That's how most, that's, that's courseware sites. So websites that sell courses, that's a business model. It's up to the teachers to submit it. They're not really involved. There's no educational planning. It's really not at all like art school. So when New Masters Academy launched, we used the sort of the Netflix business model of, hey, you only pay, at that time it was $20 and you get access to everything, the reference library and the 3D stuff and the and the courses. But it was, a, so we were sort of borrowing the subscription model from Netflix is what we were really looking at. We were just borrowing their model, but it was always designed with the intention of creating this whole curriculum. But because we didn't have $180 million like master class, totally unrelated to us, uh, but instead of having $180 million of funding where we can just throw money at Serena Williams and all these amazing people, and they come in basically do a commercial where they, where they teach for five minutes and it's promotion for their brand, and then you sell that. So rather than doing that, we had to, I mean, it was literally funded by me alone. Like there was no outside investment. There was no seed investment. There was there was the investment of, you know, Glenn Vilpu and Bill Perkins and Juliet Aristides and Danny Galliotti and all of these amazing instructors, Ed Froughton and all these people. They were investing their time by recording this content without with a huge risk that it would never get published. A lot of stuff that gets recorded never gets published. So they actually invested their time and that actually allowed us to create New Masters Academy. And Caleb, for example, built the original version of the website by himself and did not get paid anything and didn't ask for anything. And then like only years later came back to work with the company, but it was like a lot of goodwill and a lot of collaboration. So New Masters Academy has always been about that, a collaboration. And I think that um, the idea of using the subscription model as a way to make it affordable and make it work, that was so a lot of times we would get grouped in with the courseware sites so people would say oh what you know what is, is it is it is it skillshare or is it uh this or this or new masters has a course like people were confused about us um and I, that was always a real problem because they weren't using new masters academy correctly what they were supposed to do is they were supposed to go through the content in in a logical way that we were recommending to get the results we wanted but what instead they did is because it was like presented sort of as this library business model that's how they use the site so they're like oh i like this course and then i like this course and then i like this course and that was actually something that we 
it took us a decade to build the curriculum that we currently have today, where it is literally like a university level education with different focuses to, with a multiplier, right? It's 3,000 hours of lecture. You're not going to get 3,000 hours of lecture in any art school in the world. Some There's not 3,000 hours of content outside of New Masters Academy. So the idea that we had to build this curriculum up, that took a long time in trying to get all of the different teachers to fit what we wanted from them into this, all behind the scenes was, was really difficult. And when we uh, finally announced our uh, learning tracks, which I don't know how long ago was that, you guys, the learning tracks when they first went live. It's like three years ago or what? Uh, about two and a half, almost three. Yeah. Yeah. So when we finally had the learning tracks where all of a sudden there is a structured way to go through it, almost like a learning app on your phone, like you're learning Spanish or whatever. And that that was sort of the culmination of what we were working towards. But even the learning tracks, as we're about to talk about, were a step in the direction of essentially the real equivalent of art school, but the world's best art school and as affordable as possible. Like that's still the mission that we're after today. And everything we've done in live classes and workshops and uh, coaching and one-on-one -on -one coaching and group coaching and the Discord community and the destination workshops and literally the seminars that we have now. All of this stuff that is, which which is in 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 our uh, biased opinion, but it's it's borne out by the data for sure. This and and the reputation. It's the best art education in the world already, but still, it's still we still haven't quite reached some of the benefits that a traditional art school, like, you know, you pay $200,000 or maybe in your country it's it's free and you go and you immerse yourself and you're really able to learn at the most, uh, in the most focused way possible. That is still a target that we don't feel like as, as far as we've come, we've really reached. And so I think this announcement today is connecting to that and connecting some of these previous announcements, but I wanted to sort of just kick it over to the architects of a lot of this right now, because they're the experts. So maybe uh, Caleb and Thad can, uh, can, can sort of take it from here at the moment. Yeah. So when it, when it comes to online education, you're right. There's <clears throat> there's so much amazing benefits of this asynchronous, do it from home, jump in when you want to, jump out uh, when you're done with it. That's that's one of the huge benefits of doing anything uh, online education from home. But it's also can be one of the big pitfalls um, yeah. that it, that can, especially when it comes to completion with motivation, with getting through it. Uh, you know, New Masters Academy has done a lot of work recently with community building, which um, that was part of this as well, because if you're going to a traditional school or any brick and mortar school, one of the big things is that you have people around you, you have uh, your campus, you have uh, fellow students, and this is important to keep you on track. Uh, it's important to keep you engaged. It's important for your identity. Um, and this was something that's missing, um, that has, that's just historically missing from online education. And so we've been trying to fill uh, fill those gaps. It's really important to to us, like Joshua was saying, um, not just being the best online art education. That's that's not that's never been the goal. It's being the the best art education anywhere um, for our students. And um, so, part of what our challenges have been is how do we fill those gaps? How do we how do we take this amazing structured um, college level content that's structured and with the best instructors you can ever have? And how do we marry that with the same benefits that you can get from the more traditional, the more traditional schools? Um, and that's what's really been leading us into our current developments and what we're going to be talking about today. Um, and I wanted to say right now we got Thaddeus um, on this line, and a lot of what the work that's been done, um, getting the community and putting things together and uh, making sure that the vision that Joshua has for the education and the curriculum is actually being translated and presented um, and being accomplished is, is Thaddeus here. He's, he's the one that's put in uh, a lot of this legwork um, getting that done. Um, and so I wanted to say here too, that it's like Thaddeus, if students don't know, uh, this is a big powerhouse behind a lot of this uh, amazing uh, structured content that you're able to work through and the assignments um, is, is through this guy here. Um, and that's why it's important that he's on this call uh, and in this meeting is because what we're gonna be talking about today is um, what the future of the structure of the programs and what we offer at, at New Masters Academy. 
Um, so I guess beating around the bush is not, uh, we don't really need to do that so much. I think Joshua has something special here. I think I got something. All right. Here. Uh, so here's the thing. We're going to be talking about um, some new offering that we have got coming up with uh, New Masters Academy. And it's kind of, it's all represented and packaged really well in this wonderful thing that we have in our hands here as well. This is the first uh, New Masters Academy school catalog, right? So oh, yeah, this is dude. our 2024 mm -hmm. um, New Masters Academy catalog. Fresh off the, Fresh off yeah, the press. This is our this is our first looks at um, printed versions of these, uh, which is it, it's amazing. It's very exciting having these. Um, but you're all going to have a chance to get your hands on these at some point, but you're going to be able to see these today. As soon as we're done talking, uh, we have digital representations of these for you to uh, take a look at and um, and peruse. But one of the most interesting things you'll notice uh, in here is going to be this section very early on talking about the foundations program. Um, and so this foundations program, this is this is the big focus of, of what we're talking about um, right now. So the foundations program is is something that we we've been spending a lot a lot of time on here and we've been working very closely with um uh i always get this acronym wrong uh NASA. the national association of schools and art and design uh nasad these are the people that define uh standards yeah. for what the requirements are for college level art for accredited art schools right um and there's pretty strict requirements about what that means because there's there's a lot that goes into a structured, well-rounded education um, for the national standards. And as we've talked about um, in the recent past, New Masters Academy is on our road to accreditation, right? This is, this is a big um, goal for us, is getting to the point where our courses are accredited, where you can come here and do a full, uh, you get your degree, uh, do the full program and do it for an extremely affordable price. Um, that's always part of our mission. And so we already have the, the instructions there. The instructions amazing, the resources, resources are amazing. Um, but a lot of people need that opportunity to be able to get that to degree, to get, the, uh, get those credits. Um, and also, like we were talking about in the beginning, there's some of these gaps uh, because it is very open and free form right now. And so this program, what it actually is, it, it is a candidate program for accreditation for us. This program was designed hand in hand with these standards from NASAD to create a program that completely fulfills the requirements of a accredited art school. So this isn't this isn't a program that simulates what you might need at an art school or uh, this is exactly uh, above and beyond what you would have to get if you were going to a uh, to an actual uh, or to a traditional art school. So that's what this program was designed around. And so we'll talk a little bit about this program, but I wanted to give a little background to, to what this is and why. Um, so again, this is a this is our program that meets those needs. That is, um, as we get people applying to and getting into this program, you guys are gonna be the trailblazers uh, getting through this program. This is what NASAD uh, and the association is gonna be looking at uh, uh, for the program. Like this is, this is the, the big step that's going to be taking us into this uh, the future of NMA with accreditation and um, uh, and these kinds of offerings. So, so the, the way accreditation works, uh, not just for uh, that organization, but basically for all of them, though, is that you have to first create the program. And then if it meets all the requirements, if it doesn't, you have to make adjustments. But then if it meets the requirements, then the program becomes accredited. So just to be clear, the yes. The two-year foundations program that we're announcing today uh, is not actually an accredited program yet, but it is what we have put together as a school in coordination with the accrediting agency so that it will become an accredited program in the future, right. hopefully. But what that means, though, in terms of an opportunity, because that's always what I'm trying to focus on with the students is an opportunity. What it means is that you're going to be able to get into a program that is the most affordable hands-on streamlined version of it possible because 
the accreditation comes with a lot of costs. There, there's things we have to maintain. There's a whole bunch of stuff that goes into it. It's very bureaucratic and uninteresting, but essentially it's gonna cost New Masters Academy money to run the program. And so we have actually priced the found this version of the foundations program. We've actually priced this with without any of those overheads. So in other words, this is an opportunity to go to a two-year art school program, essentially, remotely. This is an online program, but actually get in at an opportunity that is not going to be able to exist in the future, assuming that we're successful. And so essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to be opening this program for admissions. Uh, students are going to be able to get into the program. And we're going to talk about what this program even means because it's really vague right now. Maybe that will be able to break some of that down for us. But essentially what it means is that students right now are going to be able to get into this program and we are going to have to monitor the progress and track the progress and work with the students and they are going to be essentially the proof to the accreditation agency uh, or organization that new masters academy should be a program uh, should be a, should be accredited and this program would be the first accredited program uh, in that process so it's very important for the school but to make it a little more relevant to people who are listening to this whether or not you uh, are a New Masters Academy student or a New Masters Academy fan, or you're just somehow somebody linked you to this video. Um, regardless of that, this is New Masters Academy is on track to become the world's first accredited online only art school. So we were the first subscription based art school uh, in 2011 and 2012 when we incorporated in, in early 2012. Uh, we were the first, uh, so we were the first to do this online subscription affordable art school. This is going to be the first actual accredited art school that comes from this format. It's not Academy of Art or, or something with campuses that also has online components or something like a lot of schools. This is literally, and so this is a completely new thing in the education industry. And it's an education industry that has a reputation for being overpriced, difficult, inaccessible, elitist, unreasonable, catered for the rich. All of the things that sort of go into like what people the problems people have with art school if we get in here if new masters academy can get in here we are not because we, we, we've, we've already transformed online art education we're going to do the same thing with art school if, right but we're going to need the help of the students we can't just do it without you and so the students that get involved with this program you are literally quite literally making history because you are going to be amongst the first group that takes this new era of art education to the accredited space. And so it's actually a huge deal. And the amount of attention and resources we're putting into this program, it's 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 a lot for us. We're really putting a lot into this to the point where the overheads for the program are quite large and the profit margins are quite low because there's, as you're gonna find out with this program, it's very, very human intensive in terms of what we're offering and how it's gonna work. And so maybe this is a good time, Thad, if you want to uh, talk a little bit about it and then maybe, or at the same time, whatever, maybe we can actually take a peek at some of the, some of the catalog, because this is actually amazing. It's full of yeah. unbelievable artwork by a bunch yeah, of artists. Before we jump to you, I wanted to uh, riff off what Joshua was saying about the pricing of schools. And this, it's just a serious concern, um, especially in the US, what we're reading in the news right now is that tuition for colleges has grown has outpaced every other kind of inflation or price increases that that we've had which is insane um so you have people really trying to weigh uh, you know it used to be a lot easier to justify the cost of that diploma on your wall and it's becoming harder and harder to do that and unfortunately that means fewer and fewer people are even making the attempt to get the higher education um, and so when we're in a time right now where that's the trend, where they're just cranking it up and up and up, and it's going to become a more and a more elite thing to be able to do, we're coming in at a point where we're going to cut that off and we're actually going to come in at, 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 at as low as we can. Actually, yeah, literally. Yeah, literally. We're going to as we as possibly as we can, can for, right. a, for an actual accredited degree program. Like this is, like Joshua was saying, like this is revolutionary you participating in this and helping to make this possible means that you are quite literally physically changing the landscape of higher education uh, pricing. If we come in there at this, it's like there's going to be a reaction. There has to be a reaction to this sort of thing. Yeah. Um, that's important for everybody, not just us now, not just you guys right now, but 
the future and students and college students in general we're trying to you know this is an yeah. important part of trying to the arts the art schools are going to have to react or lose their endowment they're going to have to react or lose their admissions when there is when the best art school in the world is affordable it doesn't make sense to spend two hundred thousand dollars to go to rhode island or to go somewhere right it's going to be really transformative but hopefully it's transformative in a positive way where schools realize they need to teach skills that would be a cool place to start because most of them yeah. don't but teach the craft of art but also make it more reasonable and affordable we don't need 13 million dollar buildings with the name of rich donors we don't need to be funneling i mean dude jeffrey epstein was on the board of one of the top uh, art schools in, in the country. I mean, what this tells you everything you need to know about money and about power and about education. And right. we're trying to literally break the back of that system. And we're going to do it not with negativity, but we're going to do it just like artists always do it with creation. We're going to create something better and the, the industry is going to have to respond. And that's what we've been doing for over a decade. So there's a lot of mission behind this. Um, and it is very impactful and it's very important, but at the same time, I really want to focus right now on like, what does this actually mean? What is this program and why yeah. beyond like all these grand ideas, why should you care? How is it different than new masters and what is it? Maybe it's a good time to actually get to that. Sure. Yeah. Um, so besides for students that are, are in this program, besides for uh, going through our studio courses, I mean, that's the heart and foundation of New Masters. That's that's what we've been building for, you know, 10, 10 plus years it, are these courses. And is this curriculum that we have curated into tracks and, and whatnot. But the main focus of this program now is, is giving uh, students a full-time structured um, way of going through it. So besides for the studio courses, you have dedicated studio time because uh, that's a key aspect. We we can sit there and we can do assignments all the time and and not make progress towards our portfolio. If, if by the end of a two year program, you don't have uh, some sort of portfolio to pitch to either uh, a workplace or some some sort of job competition, art competition, things like that. Or then, another um, yeah or another school yeah like uh setting the foundations of for that is the the key the key aspect here and along with that other requirements are dedicated lecture hours hence why we, we've been launching the seminar classes um to really give give students an opportunity to to just sit down and expand their mind on different aspects of art making that they 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 wouldn't have if they were just dedicated in uh only doing the foundations track so having avenues like that having dedicated group group coaching sessions that are dedicated towards uh these students uh, along with access to our other group coaching offerings uh along the way that and uh introducing elective classes within the track system so you're going through the track system but you also have time to take take a previous live class or take another course and really expand your knowledge and really build up these credit hours which are so important for accreditation is is giving you guys this this yeah. full-time access this rigor um that requires dedication um but yeah that that's and and this is structured yeah, over two years so. is, is really mm -hmm. big on that so we yeah. talked a little bit about the pitfalls of online learning right um, um is that it's hard to motivate it's hard to get yourself going uh it's hard to stay on track well you're home you're home and you're comfortable and you're on your device you're on your phone that's the same place where all the addictive entertainment and social media and all those apps are they're also on your computer they're also on your phone and so what we find uh um what we what we find with the students that are doing the the students that are doing the tracks are getting the best results that we've been seeing that for like two years now and there's some amazing examples of that with some unbelievable student work that i think is going to blow your mind in, in this catalog from some of our students we know the tracks work for the students who do it there's no question about that if you doubt me go on the discord look at the different levels and just look at every single student work transforms by doing the tracks and then the students who are also doing live classes or group coaching or one-on-one -on -one coaching and these extra stuff, those are the ones who are like moving at warp speed. Right. The, the downside that I think Caleb is alluding to here is that the tracks are rigorous, they're in-depth, they're the most rigorous and most in-depth in the world. But because of that, it's harder to self-motivate to actually do it. 
And part of the reason it's harder, and this is what students have told us, this is what they, we, they, we write in to tell us. Part of the problem is that with group coaching and with coaching and with live classes and with workshops and stuff, there's like this team effort. It's a social dynamic. You're with a cohort of people. You're interacting with people. You're spending a lot of time with these people. And that sort of is how humans are able to sort of be at our best. We work best as a team. We're social creatures. We work best when people are checking in on us and making sure we're showing up. So um, the combination of New Masters Academy being so affordable and being a subscription and there's no grades and you can come and go as you please and just the natural inclination of online learning, which you know the world learned during COVID, it's very hard. You get worse results usually with online learning because it's the motivation problem for most students. Some students are able to do it. There are students who are just extremely focused and disciplined or just students who enjoy it. But for the most part, people find that the courses are harder to get through than the live classes, which are actually fun and exciting and inspiring. And like it's kind of like a party, like everyone's having a great time. And so obviously we can't have, you know, that amount of content be like a live class. There's no way for us to like do that because it's just so much knowledge that needs to be imparted so forgetting the accreditation and forgetting the mission and everything the big thing about this two-year drawing program that is a game changer is that now the tracks are a collaborative more synchronous team effort where you're actually working with a cohort and with coaches and teachers and we are helping you get through the actual courses rather than the learning tracks where you're studying on your own, you submit whenever you uh, can, you'll get feedback within uh, the, the window, and then you have your next step, but it is a little bit more passive. You can see, every, I mean, it is great to see everybody's work on the Discord, and that's actually really motivating, but it doesn't have the same energy as like the live classes or the live workshops and these kinds of things. We're trying to bring that like, not hand-holding, but we're trying to bring that like strong targeted support system to the foundations, because everything you've heard today from Ron Husband and Bill Perkins and Catherine and Larissa and, and, all, and all these artists, these master artists that you've been hearing from today, they, it all comes down to the foundations and it all comes down to those, you heard Glenn say it himself, it comes down to the simple elements. So we know the foundations are the most important thing, but they're also the most discouraging because when we're beginners, it's painful because we're not good at this yet. So if you try to learn the trumpet, it's rough at the beginning. If you try to learn anything, if you try to ski for the first time, it's rough. So not only are you, as a beginner, you're more vulnerable and more frustrated because you haven't learned that fluency of the language of art. But on top of that, compared to the more social and more interactive and more synchronous stuff at New Masters, it always seems like a little bit, for a lot of students, it's more like taking your medicine. Like, I got to do this work so I can get to the next level. The idea here is to turn the foundations into a program which is premium and it is a commitment. It's a financial commitment, uh, despite the fact that it being a small fraction of the cost of art schools, it's more expensive than the New Masters Academy subscriptions, obviously, because there's a lot of human labor and effort and coordination that's going into it, and a lot of work going into preparing it. So it is more expensive, but we think that we're going to see a much higher uh, percentage of completion, much less drop off because we know just from studies and science and our experience and, and just our knowledge in this in this in the education world we know you're going to get better results when you have committed students who are working in, in this kind of a program and so essentially whether or not you're interested in accreditation in the future whether or not you're interested in any of this what it means is that if you can dedicate two years of your life which is no joke obviously but if you can dedicate two years of your life to this program we are going to transform, and you're really doing this yourself, but your artwork is going to be transformed. And you're gonna see, we're expecting to see much better results than what is already working so well. And so the idea here is you can invest in your drawing foundations, and then you can continue to refine those and expand on those for the rest of your career. So this is the, this is the closest thing to that education that I wanted that didn't exist this is the most concrete form of that that we've ever been able to come up with. It's a really big deal. And that's why we all look so tired right now. Because we've been working tirelessly to actually, I just contradicted myself. We've been working for a while now to, to, to get this program ready to go. So I just wanted yeah. to get a bit of that like practical, like why are we doing this? What is this and why should you care? Yeah, I mean, getting, getting into a program like this, like Joshua was talking about, um, there's a lot of hands on this. Uh, when you're in this program and as we get closer to actually making this available because it's currently not open for enrollment it's going to be coming open for enrollment closer to a july 
Um, one of the big things you're going to notice about this is how much hand-holding you're having through this, how, many, how much interaction like this and talking to instructors and coaches you're actually going to have that, that aren't just added benefits but requirements in the program. So this goes back to those NASA uh, standards we were talking about and these requirements. Um, you're going to be working with coaches that are specifically talking about the courses you're doing in uh, the foundations. Yeah. You're going to have required extracurricular uh, lecture times. There's going to be topics that are going to be covering that aren't um, fully covered in some of our on-demand stuff, including art history. Uh, we, we do have this wonderful thing with Laura going on and some of our other things, but exclusively for this program, art history, art theory, art critiques, um, which are important to round out folio, this, right? uh, this, this education. You're going to be working on projects throughout this that are required for student exhibition at the end. Um, Thaddeus had talked about studio time. It, it, this might seem like a weird concept, but if you're at an art school, uh, you're required to have this studio time where you are self-directing working on projects. And what you do is you have somebody who's coming in, uh, checking on you, get, you know, uh, uh, taking a look at what you're doing, giving some feedback, hearing from you on what your plans are, what you're working on. Um, because the goal there is you need to be producing something. You, have to, you need to be producing this work in order to, uh, to uh, show this at the exhibitions, to be able to get through the program. Um, this isn't just a nice offering that you have available. This is part of the program, and these are requirements. And um, having these, it might sound like a bad thing, being like, well, I have to do these things to be part of this program, but that's actually one of the big strengths. This is the, yeah. the there is accountability, very real accountability. In order to participate in this program, you're going to have to be meeting deadlines. You're going to have to be um, meeting requirements for how much uh, lecture time and work that you're putting into it, how much time you're spending in your studio, which could be your kitchen. Um, but it's it's this place where you are doing this these, these projects. These are all requirements of the program. So if you want to talk about motivation and accountability and getting yourself uh, through these things, this is one of the biggest things the program is bringing. And, and this is just something that that we know at this point as humans that this accountability is one of the biggest things that gets us to do things you know yeah, there's, there's a lot of science and knowledge about motivation and psychology and things that we've learned you know what i mean and i think that like with a program like this everything is aligned for you to have success you know what i mean the social incentives the community incentives yeah. the uh the financial accountability the fact that you can it, it, you can't it's not there forever for you it, it, it has to in order to get accredited there's all these requirements like it has to be people need to be be dropped if they're not participating in it people need to get there's deadlines there's things that need to get done it is very much new masters academy is an online art school and, we, and it's the best online art resource in the world but this is like literally moving in the direction of art school the way that governments defined it the way that countries define it so we're not saying that this is an alternative to art school that is really better than art school this is literally new masters becoming art school this is the this is really the last step before accreditation for us and mm -hmm. so the amount of organization that had to go into this actually benefits the students who are in the program go ahead this that yeah yeah um this is like mo a lot of the things that are in this program that you, you, you'll discover once we make it live. These are things that we've been testing and putting into practice over the last two years. Live classes. We, we have n nearly, if not over 100 live classes we've ran since we started them. Really? Group coaching. Yeah, group coaching. Um, we've been running the, the, the current program very successfully the last year, year and a half. Um, and then we have seminars, which we just launched um, really uh those really just came out of like the love that uh charles and ray have and like the mouth and knowledge that they just want to spill out that they, with all their heart they just want to give to the world and then uh also interactive like we are just closing in on nearly four thousand submissions on interactive Whoa. since since we started it so like these are things that we've been testing and and seeing if they work and adjusting and trying to make the best our education that we can yeah and it's a lot of uh you know in an age where basically all the social and all the tech companies the reason your your gmail says Oh, add AI. And the reason that your grammar, the reason all those things are saying add AI is not because they want to give you AI. It's because once you agree to enable AI, what they do is they take your data, then they sell it to 
companies that are mining AI data. So right now, there's in in the world of the online world, it's all about data and user experiences. And in this age, when that's going on, I think it's important to note that when we are looking at the data of assignments and student success and student drop off and this stuff, we're literally looking at it from the perspective is, how do we get this person back into class? How do we get them to achieve their goals? How do we make our content better? And so when we're talking about analyzing the data that we're getting, we're trying to do this from a perspective of just, we are the ones who are changing to become more effective for you. And, and that's I, I think that's really important to think about because as this program goes forward and, and as the world continues to change, I think you're gonna see more and more that, that people want you to chat and exist on their platform so that they can use your data. And, and it's important to know that New Masters Academy is not I mean, we had a wooden mannequin. We had the world's first AI assistant teacher who's getting a brain upgrade right now. That is literally just to answer student questions. Like the way we use technology is fundamentally different than the way that the technology sector uses data. And I think our history proves that integrity, but that's gonna be very important moving forward in terms of art education. We're not just trying to train an AI to you know, get rid of every teacher you know, and lay everybody off and then just make it so you're talking to a prompt. We believe in the essential human aspect of art and that's what it's all about. It's all about this master apprentice, this craft, this workshop. And that hasn't changed in centuries and it's not going to change because we haven't changed. We as humans are the same. We, we learn from others and we, we hand down our knowledge. And so it's very much like tech, tech, like look, it's the first online only uh, accredited art school we're talking about that makes it sound like it's a cutting edge tech company but in reality we're 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 traditional humanists here like we we're just using the technology to reach you and make it affordable for you so you don't have to fly to colorado or massachusetts or uh, los angeles or, or italy to participate so the whole idea mm -hmm. here is to use the technology the right way to use it in a ethical way to get better human results for humans human crafts people and, th and that's what this is really all about right yeah absolutely um and and what what sets this i mean well I, we have some people asking like well why is how is this different what is the you know what, so that we had a four-year program that we that we're running and stuff right now like what how does this compare what are the differences i think the biggest thing about this program is going to be um two things number one uh the hand holding that's happening uh it has to by design be walking you through every step uh through these trimesters it's it is it, it, you it's a requirement of the program to be interacting to be talking with instructors to be talking with coaches to be getting uh back and forth feedback and, and uh stuff with your assignments it's it's a requirement um also the amount of rigor and accountability that there is here um this is not kind of a self-paced I'm going to take you know my time to be able to do this. There's requirements of you. Uh, you need to be at certain places at certain times. Uh, like Joshua was saying, for a program like this, for an accredited program like this, um, there's requirements of participation. Uh, it's not just a hey, you can just do it when you want to. Uh, part of this is is actually having policies in place for what if you aren't coming to class what if you aren't submitting your assignments yeah. what if you aren't and that's important for you because there's actually real if you are not meeting the program's expectations and requirements you might not be able to participate or continue going in the program these are real incentives because of the design uh, that will actually help to make this a more serious thing for you which is important for getting yourself through something as hard and as important as as these foundations um, but that that's the interactivity, the amount of hand holding and, and interactivity you have with your instructors and coaches, and the rigor and the accountability, these are the, those are the two huge also, things. Also, the, the program has been accelerated. So instead of leaning on a lot of runtime of videos and a lot of self-selected stuff that you're doing on your own, the idea here is because we're it's more demanding and more rigorous and there's many times more uh, hours of human human involvement in it, because of those things, it allows us to 
um, it allows us to guide you in a more synchronous way through the content. So a lot of students, for example, group coaching students, they'll bring their assignments to their uh, group coach in addition to submitting them for interactives. And you're totally able to do that. And that's a great way to do it. But the idea here is that every student is doing the same courses at the same time. And we're meeting to discuss the coursework and the assignments. And so you're being led through uh, the foundational tracks at in a, in, a, in a more direct way. But because of that, it's actually accelerated. Like we're actually making better use of your time. We're getting you to spend more time in the studio. We're getting you to spend more time with projects and more times building portfolio and a little bit less time sort of, here's a bunch of resources and you don't have time to do all of them. And so this sort of like feeling frozen, like, oh, should I be submitting for group coaching or should I do Renee's gouache class or should I, I just feel overwhelmed. That's one of the things we hear a lot. And so what we're doing is we're actually, because it's a full-time program, that's that that actually is sort of a selection pressure it just filters because it's only for full-time students just like like a physical workshop like in santa fe the anatomy workshop or in tuscany when i've got everybody in the castle literally it's a whole different thing it's not like check out steve houston's thing you should try this thing check out that thing it's no we are working as a team and we are uh, taking accountability for help getting you through this program and so the actual nature of it is because it's also relying on the content we build, obviously, but the nature of this is that it is a synchronous coordinated program as a cohort. And the closest thing we've done to that is the four-year program, but there are a lot of important differences. For example, with the four-year program, there is no accountability. You can take advantage of any of those resources or you don't have to, it's totally up to you. This is actually not at all like this. This is an actual program where there's deadlines and if you're not meeting those deadlines and if you're not putting those hours in, you actually, we have no choice but to actually remove you from the program. You can get dropped from the program. So that accountability is what makes a degree mean something in, in, because it actually is proof of a certain level of training and ability and accountability and success. So even though this program is not accredited right away and we're trying to get it accredited, so it's a candidate program, we're still running it exactly that same way. So if you're like, I think most people, you thrive most when there's clear goals, a clear, uh, a clear guide, your expectations are clear, and you're working with the team to get it done. It, in it, The actual nature of being in this two-year program is not at all like being in the four-year program, even though there is obviously a lot of overlap of the same people behind it and a lot of the same stuff. And in fact, we anticipate a lot of the four-year students feeling like they want to get into this two-year program um, and feeling like, oh no, maybe I shouldn't have signed up for the four-year because now I'm realizing the two-year thing is more what I want. We're, uh, Thaddeus has been working on this, but we're going to be creating a way for anybody who's currently in the four-year program is going to be able to, if they want to, transition into this program in a way that nothing, you're not losing anything. It's actually, you're probably gaining gaining on that you're gaining some value in addition to that so there is going to be a path for the four-year students but it's also something that anybody who's a new master's academy uh student can up can apply and 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 go through admissions to get in this program but also if you've got nephews and nieces and brothers and sisters and cousins and loved ones or your children if you've got people who are wanting to go to art school and they don't they don't see themselves like learning online. Maybe it's just not works with their learning style or maybe it's too hard to have the discipline to do that. Mm -hmm. This is a program for a type of student that currently is, is not able to get what they need from New Masters Academy. So this is gonna bring in new students that are out there that are looking for a program like this. But in, addi in addition to that, the people who are already involved with it, you can just use this program as your own personal art school to get the foundations at least the the two-year level of the foundations down and and have that accountability and actually get through it and you know on your calendar by this date i am going to be way better at drawing and way better set up to pursue the rest of the learning tracks or to apply to another school or frankly with after this two-year program based on what we're seeing from the learning tracks the people who are getting through the drawing foundations they're almost all in a situation where they can actually earn money from their artwork you don't have to get to the end of the track to sell artwork our students are literally starting businesses getting teaching jobs you know sell, doing portraits getting jobs at studios all these opportunities are, are getting represented by galleries that's happening to these students and nobody has gotten to the end of the tracks because the tracks haven't been there long enough so the students who are really benefiting they're actually starting their careers as part of this process. So it's not like art school where as long as you're doing that art school, you're living on campus or whatever, and you're probably not earning money from your art. Because it's remote, I think it opens up an opportunity for you to be 
making business moves as your skills are building. And so don't think just because it's two years, that means that you can't sell, a com you can't do a commission within two years. That's actually not the case at all. And I think that we're seeing that with the students currently, that the level of skill in the art world is actually at such a level that the new master's academy just within the foundations module makes you competitive with the professional level already. So I think that that's going to continue to open a lot of doors for uh, artists and, and a lot of doors for students. And I think that it's also easier. Let's say, for example, you have a, your parents are wanting you to go to a traditional art school. They don't buy into the whole online learning thing. Uh, I think this is going to change that for a lot of people because in order to get accredited, we actually have to prove quite literally that the authorities that exist at the governmental level and at the institutional level are saying that New Masters Academy is an art school and you are going to get a degree from it. And so this actually legitimizes it to the world that is maybe not as open, especially like older generations sometimes, they're not as open to the idea of online education. They think you're just screwing around and coloring and coloring books online, you know, and watching YouTube videos. They don't take it seriously. Uh, this is this catalog in particular is a fantastic tool to kind of show. I'm, I'm, I'm more speaking to the younger students here, but also to show your partner, to show pe share people in your life. You're spending all this time investing in your art career. Uh, there's a there's a destination in mind. You're not just goofing off on on YouTube. And so I think this is going to make a big difference in like who is able to make it work and who is able to kind of make this their full time their full time study. I, I lost you, Caleb. Can you guys hear him? Nope. Nope. It's just, just the sound. Did you want to add? Join us. Hey, hey. Hello. Yeah, I can hear Hello. you. Hello. Yeah. yeah. So we're coming up on the on the end of this here, and there's a couple things I wanted to do. Number one is that we had some questions regarding like, okay, well, so is, is New Masters Academy no longer uh, offering our asynchronous subscription stuff. No, that's, that's, that is not the direction we're talking about. Come on. Come on. Uh, we will, we will, we will always continue to offer because this is not a program that everyone has the time or the ability to do. Obviously this is, this is a full-time commitment sort of thing, but the good news is that this increases the quality of every, even if you're not in the program, this increases our resources and what we do for everything in our subscriptions and everything else, which is, which is great for everybody. But no, those, those plans are going to remain uh, available. You're going to be able to access New Masters Academy asynchronously for the, for the subscription prices and all this wonderful stuff. There's, there's actually going to be some um, interesting changes coming uh, to that as well, that's going to make it even more flexible. For, for students um, coming up again, there's a lot of exciting changes happening, but as we come closer to July, you're gonna hear more about um, uh, some other big changes that we'll probably do some uh, announcements on, but uh, some things to look forward to is like I said, this flexibility of actually putting together your education outside of this program. If you wanted to go to the subscription do sort of route um, that allows you to put that together more granularly. And really choose like okay what what are the resources that um, are the most are that that are the most important for me um that's so that kind of more increased flexibility and even more accessibility that's actually coming too so we're not going away from the direction of trying to make sure everyone can have as yeah, many I, people as possible can have this this is just another facet of what new masters academy i, I didn't doing. i didn't turn down selling the company so that i could turn it into an expensive art school and then just kick everybody off who uses it, who can afford it. That's the exact opposite of our mission. So hopefully you know us better than that by now. But as Thad was saying, a lot of the big improvements at New Masters have been because we, ha we have to go through this program and so we're testing things and we're, it actually just benefits. It actually challenges New Masters Academy to, we have to raise our game even higher than it already is, which seems obscene because we're the best. Yeah. We got to get even better, and all of that trickles down to the rest of the the rest of the uh, the, the rest of the site. And so we're really committed to continuing to offer library style subscriptions for people who want to use it however you want. We're not here to tell you how to do it. This is specifically a new program for people who want to go to art school and they're open to doing it in this this way and they're opening to take this opportunity to do something new but get an enormous value for what they're doing and so that that's really what this is for it's, it's really a yes and it's not an or yeah. or instead of
Yeah, absolutely. So that's that's an important thing because there were some questions about that. I, I'll, I'll really quickly touch on uh, people are asking about. Um, I've already been doing tracks. So I've you know I'm a legacy subscriber and I've done X, Y, and Z. Um, this program is a new thing. Uh, the way that it's structured and everything about it, there's like a, like we were talking about, there's requirements that are very specific to this program that unless you were doing this program, you might most likely have not fulfilled. Um, but there are assignment overlaps, course overlaps. So we are going to be doing a sort of um, uh, on a case by case basis, like right. evaluations um, for, for you. You can uh, you're going to be able to apply. Uh, as you're getting into this program, one of the parts of this application and talking about this is is evaluating where you're coming from and where you're at and what you've done. Yeah. So that is going to be a part that's, of that. That's something we can't afford to do currently. So part of the reason that the learning tracks are like you have to unlock the next thing and it's done a certain way. That's only so we can afford to give it because literally if we make one wrong calculation and too many people sign up, the program breaks. So it's not right. about wanting to do it or not wanting to do it literally new masters academy is a incredibly affordably priced educational offering it's the biggest value in art education but because of that we have to structure things in a way that is sustainable just like any budget with a premium thing like this where it's a controlled group we're taking accountability for them there's a certain price point to get in there's all these ramifications and it's an investment in the future we're able to we're able to do things differently and so it's not going to be the the interactive tracks because the interactive tracks are priced at the library subscription level this is going to be a, a different experience altogether but i was just going to ask do we have time to show some of this catalog here because yeah, so the big, was, the big yeah, thing you can do today time. is get is get your hands on this and that's what we really want you to do because it, it talks about the program in here but also this catalog is a huge deal because it's the first new masters academy catalog ever and it, it's just it, this is really a big deal so if you're a new masters academy fan or a new masters academy student you are going to want to uh, follow the link and however we're gonna give it to you guys right now. And you're gonna wanna get your hands on this because this is a piece of history right here. This is the beginning of the, this is the beginning of the end of the old systems of art education and hopefully of improved systems of art education that work for everybody better. Yeah, so we'll go through this a little bit here. Everyone that's watching, that's waiting for the giveaway, um, and closing stuff, we're going to get to that. So if you yeah, hang on like, here, give me an iPad. <laughs> <laughs> shut up and give me an iPad. Um, we're uh, as soon as this is done, we're going to roll over into it. So just stick with us. This is a really exciting thing uh, to take a look at, and then we'll we'll get on into that. So let's open it up. Yeah, I'll I'll Ooh. navigate through this, and you guys can talk about it. Oh yeah, we, we have the cover page. Uh, yeah, cover page of course. Yeah. From Steve Houston, Steve. of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is this is a beautiful painting and a beautiful choice because uh, the foundations and New Masters Academy and art is hard and art's work, and yeah. so we thought that that mm -hmm. was really fitting to the this idea. Um, yeah, it's, beautiful it's all, quote. It's the American spirit too. Like, it's not a coincidence this happened in the United States. I think a lot of our culture of like building and changing the world and stuff, the positive aspects. I'm not talking about the negative aspects. I think that's part of it too. But uh, if you check this out, I think you'll probably recognize some of your favorite students and some of your favorite teachers in this photo. This was from our Tuscany workshop. So that's me in the middle and Johanna. And then you can, you can uh, I don't know if you guys recognize, but there's several people in that photo you should, uh, you should check out. It's, uh, it's actually brings back a lot of amazing memories seeing that. We got a lovely forward from Joshua, really uh, reiterating, you know, your passion for, and the mission for New Masters. Yeah, and also yeah, fantastic, this... fantastic artwork by Miles and uh, Renee. Miles, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I want to plant a flag on, so this is the Foundations program where we're talking about it. And so we're using images of student work from the interactives because the Foundations program doesn't exist yet. But I just want to, I really made a big deal about this in group coaching on Saturday, but on the right, you've got Gordon's artwork here which is just phenomenal. It's just a really great example of what happens when the New Masters Academy mission of combining the best ideas from the best art disciplines and then allowing students to put those together in new ways, the kind of results you can get. And then on the left here, it's Marcia's fantastic uh, uh, drawing foundations or, or is this a FODAP uh, submission as well. And so you can just see, you know, a lot of times uh, ateliers and stuff will show student work. I dare you to find student work I dare you to find student work as impressive as this for a foundational class. This is 
This is class number two. This is the second course in the tracks. So I think that the fact that artists who are as advanced and as skilled as, as these two, like that it's a, that our programs are attractive for students that have this kind of capability, I think that says a lot about the quality of the content because yeah. they can be anywhere. They don't have to be here. But yeah, this All right, thing, let's... yeah. Ooh, what's that beautiful piece of work? <laughs> this is a Johannes thing that we showed earlier. This is gonna be in New York, May 9th. You can join us at the Asal Magundi Club on Fifth Avenue in Manhattan uh, at 6 p.m. Hope we'd love to see you there. It's gonna be on display there for the Hartley Invitational. You, nice. can, you can Google that. Um, so then so, this, yeah. is, this is where we get into the tracks. Um, yeah. uh, so the idea too is that this, um, currently with the tracks, their foundations, as you know, if you've had any uh, exposure to it, is the, or these foundation, the foundations module. Um, so with the program coming into the mix, this program, uh, if you participate in the program, takes you through that whole first portion. So after this program is done, you could immediately jump into your focus of these tracks. And this breaks down each one of our available tracks. It talks about some of the highlight courses, about yeah. what you can expect from them. This is also great like Joshua was saying, to show to family, um, people who are wanting to support you in your in your education. It's, it's so funny because like, even like AI, when you ask about new masters and compare it to others, they often talk about new masters as being the best foundational school, but then they're like, but then other schools like, you know, schoolism or CGMA, they focus on entertainment. But if you actually look at what we offer at New Masters Academy, we have better entertainment programs and bigger, more extensive entertainment programs. We're just known for foundations, but that doesn't mean our inter our entertainment programs are also better. I mean, there are schools that like, like Animation Mentor, which are fantastic, that focus on it. But our comics program is taught by absolute, the best of the best, our animation program. It's taught by the best of the best. And there's this, we're gonna get to it here. You gotta look at this faculty page because we've never done a faculty page where we list all the faculty. It is unbelievable how much stronger New Masters Academy is than any school, any school in the world, in any country. Our faculty crushes their faculty. It's no contest whatsoever. And so this is a, these are some nice highlights here, of course, Glenn and Larissa and Bill and Cornelia. But just look at this next page. It is insane. Like We couldn't believe it. We didn't even know how. That's the faculty of New Masters Academy. And these are the people who have art directed and animated and directed and led and founded some of the most important entertainment, fine art, educational institutions and projects in the world. And all of these instructors are your teachers at New Masters Academy. So this is the first time you can actually see all this and just reading it ourselves. I'm like, holy crap, how did we, how did we do this? This is absolutely crazy. Cause you can compare it to another school or resource and they'll have like two, maybe three, uh, leading artists tops and then a bunch of really good teachers at different levels. But new masters is just like, it's just straight killers across the board. This is like, this is like the 300. This is, these are like the Spartans of art. It's insane. So this is worth downloading the catalog just to like go through here and see who your teachers actually are. You know what I mean? You might not even realize who these people are until you actually take a look at this. I highly recommend it. It's kind of mind blowing. And of course, we've got Steve Houston and John Asaro and Ilya and Danny Galliotti and Hollis Dunlap. And uh, that one down there is uh, uh, Stapleton Kearns. These are all leaders. Right there, that, that monument above, you see that monument? It's 40 bronze figures. That's the largest uh, monument to Mahatma Gandhi in India's history. So it's a state-sponsored monument. It's a huge project. And Johanna, your New Master's Academy instructor, it, uh, was... Uh, the sculptor and designer on two of these 40 figures. And so if you look at that and then you look below at Ed Froughton with the with the large horse, who is one of my teachers, and he's one of the original New Masters Academy instructors, Ed Froughton worked on the largest uh, uh, multi-figure monument in the, in the history of the country in Omaha. And so um, he's he sculpted presidents and uh, and and like th these are literally like the the leaders in the art world. And so the fact that these are your faculty, that's extremely unusual. You, a lot of art schools have great faculty. They don't have people who are like world-class, le like, like leaders within the fields. And that's all you have at New Masters Academy, James Stewart, Joseph Torovich. These are some of the best 
painters and sculptors in the world. And, and these are these are your teachers. That's what New Masters makes possible. Ryan Benjamin, Batman and uh, uh, Batman and uh, Beyond. Is that what it was? That that series. Yeah. Iconic work. Iconic work by New Masters Academy instructors. That sculpture in the middle is a full-size marble sculptor, uh, a sculpture by Jason Arkles, New Masters Academy instructor who teaches art history here. Jason was the first American to ever have a full-size marble sculpture in the city of Florence in history. This, it, the, the whole roster, and you'll see on the faculty page, are leaders. And then Danny Galliotti. Danny Galliotti is a senior animator. He's a good friend of mine. Spent 18 years at Disney and lead character animator. For, he animated Hercules. He was doing the Hercules character. He animated on Lion King and tons of projects. He did Tangled. But on top of that, he's also one of the top representational painters in the world. And his work is collected by Hollywood elites, people like Paul Feig and Ryan Reynolds, and 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 and, and there's a there's a bunch of key people who are collecting his work. And so again, this is not like look at my nice portfolio work. These people are the leaders. They're the they're on the covers of the magazines. You know what I mean? These are the people who are are really leading the way. Carlos Wante, that's for the new Avatar live action film. He did the he did the aliens uh, designs for Arrival. He did Spaceman. He did the aliens for Spaceman. He did. He's he's like uh, he worked on the Aliens franchise, like Prometheus. Like these like he, he, these are the leaders in this field. And George Pratt is a award winning uh, comic artist, considered one of the best fine art comic artists in the world. John Fry, one of the best uh, concept artists and and, uh, uh, and and illustrators to work on vehicles and spaceships and this sort of stuff, as well as being a perspective expert. So that's your teachers at New Masters Academy. It's really truly not like other other options and other schools. And I think being able to see this in the catalog is so exciting because it's just, when you see it all presented visually, you really get that sense. And it, it, for, at least for me, it just fills me with gratitude and awe. Yeah, absolutely. This is it's really an incredible um, presentation here. It's worth looking through, taking your time going sure. through this. Um, uh, we do realize now that uh, I made a mistake on one of the student artworks, uh, miscrediting it. We're we're fixing that now, um, and we want to give a shout out to the to the student that that produced that amazing teapot. So we're going to be updating this as well. Uh, this isn't in stone yet, so it's not going to be uh, burned in uh, the rocks forever. So we're we'll we'll get this corrected and um, uh, and let you know as soon as it is. But amazing student work in here, amazing stories at the end too. Um, Oh Actually, yeah, you guys can read through this because uh, we're going to need to jump to the um, to the ending here pretty soon. But there are a lot of amazing information. Probably a lot of stuff you didn't even realize uh, was going on at New Masters yeah. Academy. So this really is a really good idea. If, if you're a New Masters Academy student, you should really get your hands on this and read it. Because yeah, a lot of students don't even understand what they have access to. And so yeah, we have these amazing student profiles on Elisa and Andres that are really fantastic to read. When you guys have time, you should really you should really get access to that. So, Caleb, how do they uh, how do they download it? Basically, like what actually? Oh, that's from the Santa Fe workshop. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to be giving we're going to be giving the link to to access this. Um, you just have to put in your your name and email, and this 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 functions in two two ways. Number one is that um, by filling that out and getting this catalog, uh, we're going to keep you up to date about the program. So we're going to let you know as things get closer to July more details about the program, uh, uh, yeah. its structure, pricing, everything like that. Listen, when you um, when you download the catalog, you have to put your email in. That's you getting on the email list for updates on the program. So if you want to get updates on the program and you want the catalog, which is free the, for the digital download version, we may finish it and, and do them as prints if people want them. We're not sure yet. Uh, we haven't had time to get that far. This is sort of a proof. But if you are interested in the program or the catalog, all you have to do is get the catalog and you'll be on the right email list and you'll be getting updates. And that's something you're really gonna wanna pay attention to because depending on the amount of interest, we're not gonna be able to accommodate everybody who wants to get involved. And so it is going to be more of a targeted smaller group. And because of that, I think it's really important if it's something you're at all interested in, as soon as you get this link, that's your job. That's all you gotta do right now. We got through all the world arts. All you have to do is, is sign up for the catalog and you'll you'll be in the right place. Also, obviously, Discord and watching the New Masters regular email list and stuff. But this is sort of how we know you're interested in, in the program. Although, if you just want the catalog and you're not interested in the program, that's also fine. It's, it's no big deal. There, but uh, that's going to be your, that's the call to action. That's what you really need to be doing after this. Uh, 
Absolutely. So we're, we're going to get that link out to you guys um, here shortly. And uh, you guys can take all the time you want to peruse through this, zoom in, read the stories. I really highly recommend yeah. you read the and guys. If you do, stories. if you do notice something like there's a, a, a mis misattribution or something, let us know because it's digital still. So we can actually, so until it actually goes to print, we can make adjustments. And so if there's anything you guys, please let us know. I appreciate whoever said that. Um, Awesome. So thank you guys so much. This is really exciting. Uh, stepping into the future here of what we got going on. Is it iPad uh, time? It's going to be iPad time. So I think we jump to the next. We have another channel or another page set up for this, I believe. Yeah, we have another room. Okay. We'll be pushing that live. Awesome. All right. So we'll see you guys in that next room. Thanks. And I just want to call out. Thank you, Peter. You've been doing an amazing job today. And I know you just recently were sick from your travels abroad. And so I'm really, ha I'm really happy that you were able to recover because we couldn't have done this World Art Day without you or, frankly, most of what we do. So I just want to call out Peter's contribution because his role at New Masters has gone, has just been going, getting, he's gotten more and more vital to New Masters Academy as time goes on. And, and we really appreciate the work that you've done, whether it's on camera and hosting or assisting instructors or literally ta the extremely advanced perspective material, which is very hard to find anybody who's qualified to, to even do that stuff. And so the fact that you've been so uh, available and as you grow as an artist, you're also sharing that with the next generation of artists. I just want to call that out because I don't know if we've had a time to properly thank you for that, but we, we really do appreciate it. And I'm, I'm really happy to see you continue to grow and happy to see you uh, uh, just kind of make, make an impact on so many other artists' lives. So maybe, oh wait, hold on. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Wow, I feel, I got the fireworks. Uh, thank you so much, Joshua. <laughs> I really, really, really appreciate you saying that. Uh, as, as we wrap up here, um, also we do have a, uh, a star review uh, rating that we would love you to fill out. Uh, it really helps us. It's feedback that helps us and it also helps us reach other creative minds as well. So if you could fill that out and let other students know, uh, you know, why you recommend New Masters Academy is the place, you know, for your art education, we would love to hear. Definitely, we really appreciate that. I know it sounds, it, it's kind of awkward to ask, but have you reviewed us on Google? Are you commenting on the New Masters Academy? Because a lot of people support us, but all you have to do to support us sometimes is just share something or just comment something or just, Mention it. I know people do this, but mention it. Go to your local figure drawing class and mention us. If you believe in the mission and you and you buy the story here that we are a mission oriented organization and we're trying to change the world in a positive way. If you believe us when we say that, and we're not just trying to trick you to to steal your data or make money. If you really believe that, then and you're appreciative of that, it's really easy to help. All you have to do is just spread the word about what New Masters Academy is. Doing that even in the most subtle ways. Uh, leaving reviews, giving us feedback, whatever it is that you're doing, that really helps us. That really helps us grow. And, and, and that's impact that gets felt on the lives of so many artists. And so we really appreciate all of your support. We appreciate you guys for showing up to our events, for encouraging us, for making us really want to go bigger and bigger and better again and again and again until I don't know when. I don't know if there's a singularity at some point. But as long as you guys are getting a lot out of this and, and giving us that energy it gives us the motivation like we got to do it better we got to do it better nothing's too good for new masters academy students nothing in the world is too good so um thank you very much to the to the fans and to the students and to the community as well we really appreciate it absolutely and uh the teapot julie miette beautiful work <laughs> oh that was Sorry julie yeah, sorry for the misattribution that's 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 on you guys yeah. i think i think because we named marcha which makes sense because if it's amazing, it might as well be Marcia. I think if we mentioned Marcia, maybe we can find a place in the, because I would love if one of Marcia's assignments got mentioned. Maybe we can squeeze one in and add something somewhere because of the mislabeling. Because I, I know that we had a selection of them and I know Marcia's name was in there. So whatever, it wasn't an accident that, Mar I mean, it, it, it's not a coincidence that Marcia's name was in there. Maybe we can uh, maybe we can find a place because I think she really deserves the recognition and people who are getting this catalog really should be, I think they should be seeing her work as well. Maybe we can, we can squeeze that in or find a way to do that because that would just be awesome. Personally, I would like it. Absolutely. All right, awesome, everyone. Guys. Thank you so much. It's iPad time. <laughs> <laughs>
Ciao.